Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Over the weekend I was programming a new model into my Jumper T16 and it's a fixed wing model. And by mistake I put the throttle up to full throttle, armed the model and didn't realise that the throttle was up. And yes, the consequences were that this model really flew across the room like a guided missile. Uh, luckily it didn't do any damage because I did have a good grip of it. But this got me thinking because I obviously assumed, which was incorrect, that because the quadcopters, you know, the radio and the flight controller control that side of things so that you can't arm if the throttle is up because obviously it's very dangerous. And realised on fixed wings it doesn't do this. So I searched the internet to see if I could find a solution. And I found two. One of them I spent at least a couple of hours researching to try and get it to work. It just would not work. Then I found another method which used a curve to be able to control the throttle so that if the throttle is up, it's not going to arm. And I went through this process and that, was, that took me some time to sort out as well because the terminology between what the radio said and what companion, uh, OpenTX Companion said was slightly different. And I wanted to program the, uh, cuddle, the safety throttle in on my radio so that I didn't have to rebind or my receivers if I copied it over. I'm sure that is the case. I'm not 100% sure, but I must test it somewhere, but I think that is the case. So I didn't want to have to rebind all my models. Obviously, if you have a, a major problem and lose all your models, then it's not a big deal to copy them over and then rebind. But in this case, I didn't want to do that. So in the process of doing this, I decided I was gonna make a video so that I could show you how I did it. And then if you don't want to go into the programming side of it or really understand how it works, You'll see my screens on the Jumper T16, so you would be able to just copy them and test that it works and then you'll be on your way. Okay, let's get into OpenTX Companion. I'm going to bring up my backup of my radio. And there it is. And the model that I was working on is this H-King. Now we go to inputs. We're going to put the inputs for the throttle in in just a moment because first we need to set up the logical switches. Now in L01 you need to say A is smaller than X. In V1 you pick throttle. In V2 you put minus 98 and then everything else is zero. On line L02, you choose the function OR, then in V1, pick L01, in V2, pick L02, then you need to put to pick your arm switch, whichever one you happen to use, and then duration zero, and then put a delay of 0.5 there. This helps it so that if you have to actually leave the throttle down, for a, a split second for it to be able to work. If, if you put it down quickly and up, it still won't arm. In the special functions, the only thing you need to have set up in there is if you want to have the sounds for armed and disarmed on that particular switch. In my case, that is SF. On the curves, now we need to set up curve one. And if you watch the screen, the curve is a flat line at the bottom. The curve has to have two points, fixed X, lines, and then I named it cut, so it's easy to find that when you're looking for the option. Then the Y at X equals is got to be minus 100, and the Y at X equals 100 has to be plus 100. And then the side is both, and then you apply this. Now you've set up the curve. And the output you won't do anything in, the mixes you won't do anything in. Okay, let's just stop there. I want to show you how to add a line in so that you can put the second throttle setting in. Now what you do is you go to the throttle, You'll, you will just have one on your radio. Push your scroll button and say insert after. Okay, and if we go back, now you'll see there is another throttle there. And you will now be able to go and put those settings in that I show on the screen. I just wanted to show you how to do that. All the other parts are self-explanatory because you just go into the options and fill in. This one you have to add another throttle setting. 
So I'm now going to delete that one. So I'm going to push the scroll button and say delete. And that will put my radio back to how it was. In the input, this is where the differences come up when you're doing this on the radio, which I'm going to put an inlay of the screens of the radio so that you can see them. So the throttle, you have to make another throttle line. And the first throttle line is going to be connected to switch LO2. And you'll see all the settings you need in here. And then say OK. And then on the second one that you've made, you are going to pick the curve up. So you pick the option curve and then CV1.curve is the option you pick up. Now on the radio, it looks different. So over here, I'm going to put the screen of the radio so that you can see what it looks like. So if you program on the radio and not within um, the companion program. And that is basically it. That's all you need to do. If you copy these screens, then your function functionality will work that you have a safe, safer throttle. And I can show you this if we go into simulation. Okay. Okay, so it said it's armed, so if I pull up, you'll see the throttle. Okay, let's pick the, sorry, let me pick the radio outputs. You can see that the throttle is working if you look at channel 3, bottom right, uh, bottom, bottom left. If I turn the, motors. obviously nothing's going to happen, but if I leave the throttle just slightly up and say Arm. armed, it won't work. And if I go down quickly, it won't work. But if I go down for a split second and then it will start to arm again. So this was the problem I had. I hadn't set this part up and that's why my model uh, really flew away with me. But as I said, I had a good grip of it, so nothing happened. So that's all you need to do is set those parameters up and you will then have a safe throttle. Bye. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below because I re really would love to hear from you. And I'm sure there are multiple ways of setting this up, but this was just one of them that I managed to get to work uh, to make the throttle a lot more safer. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.